Well, now, Roy Jones Jr. might not be such a well-known name outside boxing circles, but within the sport, he's certainly one of the most highly respected fighters. In fact, to his many fans, he's already a living legend. And he's coming to England, and who knows, maybe even to Sheffield, to defend his world light heavyweight titles against our own Clinton Woods. Well, the Sheffield boxers' biggest ever fight will be on September the 7th, although it's still not been decided if it'll be in Yorkshire or down in London. Anyway, a cardboard cutout was the closest that anyone came to seeing Roy Jones Jr. in Sheffield today. But his first fighting trip to these shores is eagerly anticipated, especially by Woods. Our reporter Mike Sinclair spoke to him in Sheffield. It's the biggest fight in the career. All uh, boxing enthusiasts see Roy Jones as the, the greatest fighter of this decade, and it still is the greatest fighter. His, uh, his movement, his hand, his, hand, his hand speed is supposed to be phenomenal. Um, they're saying that he's the pound for pound best fighter. And obviously a great coup to get him here to England. Yeah, it's fantastic. Dennis, Dennis Hobson's done a great job to get him uh, back, in, back here to England on my home soil. It's great to fight him in Sheffield, but it looks like it's going to be down London. Um, but wherever I get him, I'm going to put up a, a terrific fight and hopefully get the belts off him. There is word that he might be treating you a little bit lightly. What do you think about that? Hopefully. Hopefully. If he treats me that little bit lightly, it just makes my chances even more at um, pulling this great, great upset off. Um, people don't think I'm going to win this. Deep, deep in a lot of people's uh, minds, I'm, I'm not good enough to beat Roy Jones. But every fighter has, um, gets beaten. Tyson, Lewis, they all get beaten, and uh, it's Roy Jones' time. When does the uh, when does the training start in earnest, and where will you be training? Well, I'm staying in uh, sunny Sheffield. You can't beat this climate for training. It toughens you up, and I'm going to bring all the titles, all the five five or six titles he's got, and they're all going to be in my bedroom on uh, September the seventh. Well, good luck to him, and uh, stay.